Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. So uh, lots of questions are popping up, of course, about the release of Windows 11 24H2. So the first question about 24H2, uh, a lot of people are saying, well, you know, it's released actually on the September the 24th. It's not. It is, yes, if you go and check out bug fixing updates, which um, nobody does pretty much. Uh, some here will do, but... Um, most people do not go and check Windows updates. It's, they wait and they have Windows updates automatically. And that means September 24th, nothing is going to happen for the majority of users. Uh, because if you don't check for the updates, they don't show up. So that's why October 8th is the date. Because on October the 8th, that's when mandatory updates for security will push the updates for bug fixes that will be uh, next week. Um, and by the way, a September 24th is not an official date. There's no, uh, there's no date on when bug fixes are going out. They're going out the last week of the month, but they aren't on a specific date. There is no date. It's not like Patch Tuesday, which is always on Tuesday. Um, the bug fixing updates could happen any other day next week. So it's there's no official date there. But October 8th is an official date for the fact that everybody, the mandatory um, updates means everybody that will be compatible should get it. The other thing about, uh, the other question that comes with um, that is, yeah, but um, is it a clean, up, a clean you know, install, a complete install of Windows when that happens? No. A new version is an update to what you have, which means it will be updating your system so that your system can run uh, 24H2. But there's no clean install in there. It's really an upgrade from 23H2 to 24H2. Clean installs only happen if you go and ask for a clean install in your, in your system in the recovery of the settings or if you use a USB thumb drive, and so on. So that's where it is. Um, unsupported question. Unsupported question. Well, unsupported, get it. I suspect unsupported will stay at 23H2. Uh, that's what been it's been happening in every version of Windows 11 that's unsupported. It doesn't do it automatically. You'll have to use the image and enforce it. And for those that are saying, well, 24H2 anyways doesn't work with unsupported. Yes, it does. It works with all unsupported, uh, even though a couple of loopholes have been shut down. If you use Rufus or if you use the tools that uh, give you the possibility of unsupported on uh, Windows 11, it works on 24H2. Where it's going to be complicated, and we'll see what happens next, is when we get probably to 25H2, which will be next year. So uh, these are some of the questions that are uh, happening. Um, and um, the other question that I've got is, is it, you know, will I have it automatically? You know, it's going to be a rollout that's going to be in steps. So um, even though officially it probably is going to start next week, then it will be um, pushed a little more with Patch Tuesday when people get the, the uh, security updates. Uh, the thing is, um, there will be blockers and there will be systems that are not going to move on. And there is going to be uh, people that are, are still going to be at 23H2 after Patch Tuesday of next week. Why? Simply because that's the way that the upgrades work. They don't push you know, a feature update to everybody. They usually go kind of in waves. So some of you will still be at 23H2 next week. And um, for those that uh, are going to be moved, there's a certain percentage are going to be moved to 24H2. So, um, and we're going to actually show in some videos what's new and what's changed. But that's pretty much what uh, is happening right now with 24H2 very close to being released. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.